Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about the dreaded filter socks. They're a pain. Everybody knows it and everybody hates cleaning them. So today we're going to try something different. filter that I kind of designed myself after a bunch of trial and error because I saw on BRS TV where they had this roller filter but the only problem is with that it can only handle up to 600 gallons per hour so what I've done is I've come up with a different design where it's still a roller mat filter but I've used a motor that continues continuously keeps turning it doesn't have any float switch in it which can actually go bad and you know it just it didn't seem right to have that many components that can actually go and fail on you so I've come up with this where this turns so slow which I really haven't tested how slow it is but with this filter here I can actually right at the moment I've got a mag nine and a half and a mag seven in here and we're going to plug it in and we're going to find out how well it really works. So that'd be like 1,650 gallons per hour, which, you know, most people have big aquariums and they need something that's going to handle a little bit more flow than just 600. So let's, give, let's plug this in and let's give it a shot. can see this is my nasty protein skimmer stuff that's come out of the protein skimmer now if you look at the at inside of this here with a with the water is here this is actually another holding chamber inside of this container so what we're gonna do is see how much it raises by putting some really nasty stuff in here I got a paper actually working high on the page. Look at that nasty stuff. 
raise the water level a little bit. That shows you how, how much it's, the filter is actually catching. Now when it goes over the top of that, that acts as almost like an overflow. There's no need to drill any more holes for overflow action. Which actually stays inside the tank, but it, it's still as a safety feature. And you can tell that that is really taking it in. It's close. And this is a pretty heavy duty cloth here. I mean, there's other variations that you can get. But most fish tanks are really not, you just don't go and dump this really nasty stuff unless your tank is pretty bad off. It's starting to overflow a little bit. Let's just, let's just see how long it takes. Here we are, half an hour later, and look at the stuff that's already getting on the filter. The water level drop inside the, the overflow chamber in, and you can see the difference in the paper in the bottom. Well, this is looking really good. I think we've come up with a solution for everybody and their filter sock dilemma. There'll be more video to, to come. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on my tank and then we'll take it from there. Uh, please comment and tell me what you think. This is Ray signing off. Thank you.